Summer Walker put out her first album again, Sped Up. Huh? Oh. Summer Walker put out her debut album Friday. Oh, oh okay. That's... Or Sunday, whatever day it was. It's like the opposite of Chop and Screw? Sped Up. Yep. Yes, she did. And you think? I think it's one of the best ideas to hit the music business. Really? To speed. I think it's one of the best best ideas to hit the music business. I this, hear, uh, yeah, so. yeah. I was like, do you got any a little bit? Yeah, I'm out of play some. But y'all, y'all talk for a little bit. Let me find it. I'm just trying to understand. Sped up an R and B album? I mean, R and B would make sense to speed up because it's slow typically. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's how we even got the Kanye West sound that came from RZA and all them is them speeding up old soul records. The quote unquote chipmunk yeah, vocal yeah, yeah. heat yeah. heat makers. He's all taking them. he's taking my first point. Yeah. That chipmunk shit has always been in culture oh, and hip hop. Yeah. And I have always loved it. Same. Uh Same. there are some regions that make a practice of speeding your shit up exponentially. That is true. That's uh true. it's a thing. The same way slowing down is a thing, chopped and screwed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speeding up has always kind of been there in DJ world. Yeah, more for like uh dance type situations usually that's what i was going to ask y'all but or with, bounce situations in new orleans and with, shit like with, that with, like with the, with the dance music kind of doing what it's doing now yeah you think it's a little bit of that probably so probably so listen i go i i i tend to follow the kids and not to dick eat again but drake and 40 really did something when they did all the underwater reverse things, speed up things that were already sped up. Like they, not saying they invented it, but they popularized it to a new and upcoming class. So these kids today, I'm gonna play a record from Tempest. That's what I'm gonna do. Tempest put this out. Hey Tempest, we love you, friend of the show. I'm always finding a way to play Tempest because she's just, she's just great. Tempest put this out a few months ago. It was a two-pack. I'm going to play the first 20 seconds of track one. This is called Lemon Pepper Wet. Oh, yeah. You put, I'm, I'm put this oh, my God. This is hard. Sav, what up, Sav? Hey! It don't matter. My point is, the second track on the two-pack was the same exact song. Uh, Sped up. That's hard. And boy, is it hard. Just check it out. I'm going to let it rock. I'm going to let it rock longer than the first one. It go. Oh, come on, man. You all see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it. This yeah. no, that's hard. if we used to try to bop to the chipmunk shit, it might have been weird. Today they found a pocket where you could still go. That's one, right? Two, on Instagram or live streaming, if I speed the song up, it ain't yours no more. Yeah, you you you, you playing a really? little music check shit. Oh, it makes it di more difficult. It's still, you think it's still fire, a file of copyright claim. But of it makes course it more, they can, more but the system's in place. Yeah, yeah it's more it, it won't pick up for sure. much. Yeah, it, it's a less, it lessens uh, the chance of, flag it. of it being picked up. Because most of the stuff that gets flagged is just uh, basically a Shazam type program, right. if not Shazam itself, picking it up and sending it back. It's not people individually going through and listening to shit and saying, mm -hmm. hey, that's XYZ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So three, what I'm saying here is That's a nice little the little same little. way that I say <laughs> artists should be negotiating for. We was probably just ratting though. They're going to figure that out. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's why you got to have these talks. Yeah. The same way I'm saying that artists should negotiate for maybe some of their international rights or at least certain regions, Africa. They should, they should, any right you could get back, you should get back. Uh -huh. If this is about to be a new phenomenon, then we got Oxtail all over again. If there are artists that can speed up entire projects and repurpose them now and sell them, I don't think it should have anything to do with the record label. With the original. Moving forward. Moving forward. If your existing contract is there, the labels have you. Mm -hmm. But moving forward, if this sped up shit becomes some fucking billion dollar industry, 
You know what's going to happen. That should be ours. You know what's going to happen. Well, that's why I'm having this talk now, and that's why I thought that her doing it was just so genius. I've seen people do it on EPs. I've seen people put singles out. But to now repurpose your whole album that way is a different level of thinking. No, Joe Biden. Enough of that,